Hello, I am Dr. Kristen, consultant nephrologist and renal transplant physician at Astor Hospitals Whitefield. Today I would uh, like to answer some of the common questions that my patients ask me at my clinic. So uh, this is regarding kidney diseases and the treatment of the same. Beginning with what causes kidney disease? Worldwide, the most common cause of kidney disease is diabetes. And kidney disease can be present at the very moment you are diagnosed with diabetes mellitus. And unfortunately, this is undiagnosed and neither the patient nor the physician who diagnoses diabetes is aware of the same. So screening for kidney disease should begin with the diagnosis of diabetes. And if it is normal and yearly once it should be repeated. And this includes a basic urine and blood test. Other causes of kidney disease include condition known as glomerulonephritis in which there is a tendency of the body to form antibodies against kidney, kidney's native structure. So there is a damage occurring because of this autoimmunity. Then there are proteinuric conditions wherein there is protein leak in urine. Hypertension can lead to kidney disease. Certain congenital or inherited conditions like cystic kidney disease, kidney stone, recurrent urinary tract infections, over-the-counter drugs, if you happen to take mainly painkillers over-the-counter for a long period of time, it can predispose to kidney disease. Now coming to question number two, which again is a very common question as to what are the risk factors or who are at risk of developing kidney disease. So again, as we discussed about the causes, you would know that diabetics, all those who are diabetics should get screened. Hypertensive should get screened for kidney disease. Obesity is a risk factor. <clears throat> so if you are overweight, you are obese, you should get screened. If you are having recurrent urinary tract infections, you have history of painkiller intake, you should get screened. If you are above age of 50 and if you are a female and you have history of hypertension during your pregnancy, post pregnancy, you should get a screening urine and a blood pressure checkup. Coming to the third question, what are the symptoms of kidney disease? Again, a very common uh, doubt that many people will have in mind. What are the symptoms? For example, when we have a chest pain, we know probably we could be having a heart condition. But what about kidneys? So unfortunately, kidney diseases are silent or the symptoms are very minimal if at all. It is called the silent killer for a right reason. Symptoms if you ask me, can be as vague as fatigue, loss of appetite, mild swelling in the legs, uh, mild swelling or puffiness around the eyes seen early in the morning, itching in the skin, uh, finding of frothiness in the urine, blood or reddish color in urine. Sometimes there can be pain in the flanks, flanks that is behind your back on either side of your uh, backbone there can be pain especially if it involves infection in the kidneys there can be pain burning while micturition burning while urination if it is persistent or any uh, urinary flow abnormalities all these can indicate kidney disease again these are very non-specific so getting uh, yourself checked if you have any doubt or if you have any risk factors for developing kidney disease or if you have a family history of kidney disease becomes very important now coming to uh, another common question that is about treatment of kidney disease. If I have a kidney disease, can it be treated? So in this regard, let me tell you that again, early diagnosis is the key factor here. If kidney diseases are picked up early enough, now we have effective treatment to slow down the progression significantly. And when I say slow down, it means we can delay the onset of an end-stage kidney disease or an advanced kidney failure by about 10-15 years and if we manage to pick up very early that is in a stage where there is protein leak and still irreversible damage has not happened we can do something known as a kidney biopsy wherein we pass a needle through the kidneys to take a small microscopic sample look it under a microscope try to find out what is the basic disease that is causing kidney problem in you and we can offer curative reversible therapies in this situation and again uh, if at all uh, you come to us at a later stage wherein there is an irreversible damage uh, still we have options at every stage of kidney disease like hemodialysis peritoneal dialysis 
kidney transplant all this is advanced to a stage wherein a patient of kidney disease is no longer tied up or is uh, bed bound you know or uh, limited in his uh, life he can go out and lead a normal life and we are there to provide treatment at every stage of kidney disease so with this uh, i would like to thank you and we at aster whitefield we offer treatment for kidney problems starting from the screening stage uh, to management of diabetic kidney disease and all the forms of glomerular disease including kidney transplantation complicated transplant both abo compatible and abo incompatible you can contact us at the details given below